Welcome to Creating a Safer Workplace by MSC Direct, featuring the web series Nothing Stops U.S. Manufacturing, conversations with safety professionals in the field. Here's your host, Anthony Testa. Hi, I'm Anthony Testa, and welcome to MSC series Nothing Stops U.S. Manufacturing. Joining me today, Scott Moore, Senior Manager, Channel Development for Ansel. Ansel is a global leader in gloves, disposable gloves, chemical gloves, single-use gloves, coated gloves, any glove, you name it, Ansel's in it with the exception of leathers, right, Scott? There you go. I, right. I know this stuff. Many times people don't really associate your hands with you know, a, a tool that they use every day and then long-term effects that if you keep getting chemicals on your hands, you keep you know, not protecting them, the damage that can actually do long-term yeah. Talk to us a little bit about, you know, the, the why Ansel puts so much R&D into their products and, and the long-term effect if you do keep your hands exposed to the elements. If you are in a in manufacturing where you have repetitive um, processes with the hands, um, the types of strains and the types of muscle use and fatigue day in, day out, eight, 10 hours a day for many, many years can cause something called carpal tunnel uh, disorder and arthritis. What that does is it's not something that you really have to deal with in the now. It's something that you're going to have to deal with 10, 20 years from now. So it's, it was important for us to start speaking to as a company in our technologies and R and D of how we can make um, the aging employees life better long after they've taken off an ansel glove or even just using their hands right so just unprotected yeah. hands i mean that's that's the key here right so yeah. that chemical it, it just think about chemicals right yes. so what does that do to those hands if your hands are exposed yeah just, there is there's a huge and not to cut you off there's a huge risk there of of people that think well this is not um a carcinogen well no it's not not a carcinogen but there are their effects on um, the skin. I, I know I've walked into several um, facilities that were using um, isopropyl alcohol mm -hmm. as a way to clean off analox rolls. For example, in um, in the uh, in the lithographic printing industry, um, maybe a very easy way of cleansing off you know certain types of of, of tools you're using, but if you're not well protected constant repetitive use of something like isopropyl alcohol can be very damaging to your hands, can dry them out. That leads to dermatitis, that leads to infection. And and again, it can it has a very far reaching effect on that employee. Right, so bottom line, protect those hands, protect those tools. Absolutely. What is the assessment that Ansel provides? What is that called? And can you walk me through what that, you know, the output that a customer and end user would get at the end of that assessment, Ansel Guardian is the is the method that we use. Um, it is just as much of an assessment tool as it is the method in which we go to market. We look at all of the business that we are um, positioning or chasing after through the lens of Guardian. And what Guardian is is a, a comprehensive side assessment where we're looking at risks. We're looking at ways that we can look at the primary cost drivers that are not unique. These are cost drivers that are across the board uh, throughout industry, um, cost performance, injury reduction, standardization, um, waste reduction, training. There's seven of them. Um, and we're looking at all of these areas and we're trying to decide upon and agree upon a method in which we can tackle it and how we can um, approach a, uh, a, a suite of products that will speak to the primary risks, lowering your cost, lowering your risk for injury, but also standardizing so it's, it's easier to procure. Talk to us a little bit about the proprietary type of yarns and knits and blends that Ansel has for cut along with some of the coatings that they have. I'll go full glove nerd on you here um <laughs> the past wow. few years the past few years we've uh we've really dedicated ourselves to finding 
in-house deniers and producing those in-house deniers that will help drive costs down. Um, there's always been HPPE. Um, there is, of course, brand names of HPPE that you can you can uh, you can purchase, like uh, Dyneema, Diamond Dyneema. So, for the layman, what does HPP stand for? HPP stands for high performance polyethylene. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's a um, it's essentially a like a fiberglass or a plastic material, and you know if you want to look, use layman's terms, um, but it does have a um, you know a an innate cut resistance to it, and it can be built up and wound or knitted in a way that you can have um, increased or greater values of cut resistance. So it makes it. Um, very effective against that. Another one is is having antimicrobial uh, deniers in the way we uh, we knit our gloves. But some materials that you can manufacture with have an innate uh, or natural antimicrobial value to it. Um, what we're doing and what we're pursuing is that type of technology so that we can do our best efforts in every step of, of our manufacturing process to help lower that risk for not just COVID-19, but other pathogens that may pop up. Um, would it be 100% um, you know, fix? Absolutely not. But if we can do our due diligence to offering a new technology that could take that risk down, um, I think it'd be very well received and appreciated within, uh, with, within the greater industry. How about some of the coatings? I mean, I know there was a glove that, that Ansel developed probably a year or two back um, that was really good with, with oil and making sure that, you know, and specifically with an MSC, right? So that's something that we invested heavy in, um, yep. that I was able to have a strong grip, even in oily conditions. I mean, which is fantastic for our, our end users who are on the manufacturing floors. Talk to us a little bit about that one. Um, Ansel grip technology is a type of coating and a, and a method in which you, you put the coating on the glove that has, we've seen tremendous results. And a lot of people think, you know, what were you talking about? A, a 25% increase in grip. Wow. Doesn't sound, a, sound like a lot on the surface. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, when, you, when you think in terms of how well you're able to do your job, could you do your job better if I gave you 25% more grip? Without question. We have been able to, um, to, to, to think uh, in terms of coding in, in a very unique way of, maybe we can add multiple levels of coding. So we're able to use that Ansel Grip technology over a straight nitrile, which are gonna, it offers a, a barrier to lubricants, but also offer that great grip uh, that you'd get with, from just an Ansel Grip technology. So we all have one of those stories where someone comes up to you at a trade show or, or in the grocery store who, you know, who, who recognize you and, hey, that's the Ansel Grip. And gives you that story that stays with you. That just is like, wow, it's, what's that story? What's that one that you have in the back of your mind? That's just like, when someone asks you this question, you're like, yep, this is it. I have a, a friend that was, um, he, he came up to me at a trade show and he goes, I want to show you something. Uh, I said, okay. So <laughs> he question. reaches inside of, and he's one of these guys that, you know, he, he just came from the job site. It was actually an MSC event in Elkhart. And um, he says, I've got something to show you. And he pulls out this glove. It was, you almost couldn't tell, you know, what that glove was. It had been used so much that the coating was 75% gone. Um, it was, he, he said, I work in, in such a high risk area for lacerations. And I had, I had cuts all over my hands. But since I've been wearing your gloves, I've not received one cut. Wow. And in first thing we did is we got a new pair of gloves, <laughs> one, one for being such a great spokesperson, but also you need to get new gloves every once in a while. So, you know, we can keep you safe as possible. Um, but that person coming up to you and, 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 and saying, Hey, if for some reason I became handicapped um, or injured on the job, um, those types of injuries could lead to, generational effects with my family for years even after i'm gone so it's it's quite a, a satisfying thing to know that what i'm doing and what ansel does and and you know quite candidly what msc does uh, through partnering with us is we're keeping people safe we're helping those men and women come back to their families whole and allowing them to perform at 100 percent 
and we know with a lessened risk um, each time they go to work. Well, Scott, I want to thank you today. This is a great interview. I appreciate yeah. it. And for so I've known Scott a long time for folks who don't know Scott. He is a glove geek by day, but he is also a great father and he loves opera. So, and he's a great singer, <laughs> just so you know. Um, but Scott, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're going to make my head blush. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard for a bald man to hide a blush. <laughs> Follow us at mscdirect.com for future episodes and more information on operating in our new normal.